Hello again, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alad for Set Play Gaming. This is the FIFA 23 West Brom career mode. It is the Road to Glory with Lady Boothroyd, Season 6, Episode 124. You'll notice I'm not in front of the camera. It has been sweltering again today here in French Valley, California. Almost 100 degrees. It's just too hot and I've had stuff to do around the house. This might reach you a little later than normal, but hopefully you're still interested in watching this series with me. In today's episode, we are taking on Watford at home in the Premier League to finish off November's schedule. This is on the back of the 1-0 defeat to Manchester United last week. And then we head into December. On December the 1st, we are hosting Chelsea at home. And then we travel to Tottenham Hotspur away to finish today's episode. You can see we've got a busy, busy December. So over the next couple of days, we've got the December schedule to finish. For now, let's get on with today's games and hope we get some wins. And so we start today's episode with the match against Watford and taking them on at home in hopefully what will be a win for us, but it won't be easy. These Premier League games never are. Opening five minutes, Ducouré here looking for the pass into Ayanacho, takes it past his man, goes inside, the final defender, out comes the goalkeeper, and all he needed to do was finish. He did everything right. First the hold-up play to get past Andar, and then cuts inside and flashes his shot wide. 15 minutes in, it's going to come to Espria, into Adam, and a shot from him, well held by Lino. A few moments later, Neil into Diangana, chance to counter-attack here. Diangana struggling for form this season, plays it in, Ayanacho is waiting, but it's well played. And then the ball falls nicely for Ducore, sits up nicely, but he ends up messing that shot up. Four minutes later, Adam into Espria, Espria into Fletcher, Fletcher looking to turn, McCrory blocks him, Fletcher again into Quina, into Adam, and it's a powerful shot, Tymon does well to hold on and knock that ball away. 32 minutes in, it's nodded down by Tavernier, Ayanacho with some great hold up play, good strength. Into Tavernier. Tavernier crosses it in. Headed away. Out to Decore. Brings it down on his chest. And he goes for a dinger. And yet again, his technique lets him down. I keep thinking that when the ball falls down like that, he's one day he's going to bang one of those top corner. Not today, though. Eddie Boudreaux. Ruining those missed chances just before half time. Just timing. Holds this up against Costas. And then Diangana. Turns away, spins away, gets into the box. And he tries to pick out a man, but Andar gets in and gets the ball clear. Into the second half. Watford doing everything they can to frustrate us here. Ducouré takes it past Adam. Shake Ducouré, looking for the wide runner. Plays it into Ayanacho, great control. And in comes Andar and wins the ball. They just seem to have an answer to Ayanacho. 68 minutes in, well won by McCrory. Adam into Derrida. Into Asprilla. Great tackle by O'Shea. Timon back to Michaelidis. And then McCrory intercepted. And now Espria with a great chance with 20 minutes left. Takes it into the box. And it's the wrong side of the post for Watford. 11 minutes left. Dylan Sharp. It looks like it's going to be a draw. Crossed in by Dean Garner. Neil wins the header. Sharp. Into Tavernier. Tavernier into Dean Garner. Pulls it back. Sharp into the box. And a great save by the defender. And it looks like it's going to be nil-nil. Cross comes in from the corner. Watford trying to get it cleared. Diangana wins it back into the box. Divisionu! He's there. A spectacular bicycle kick. A scissor kick. And Divisionu does it again. He's becoming somewhat of a mercurial striker for us. Well, great um, anticipation that from... Dean Garner, that actually might be his first contribution of the season. 
Oh, almost kicks the head off of the defender. But shows great awareness. 93 minutes. McCrory gets in. He's played well today. Dean Garner offering support on the left. Divisholu takes on Pollock. Cuts inside. And across comes the defender. Costas to win the ball. And that is full time. I have to say Watford made it very, very difficult. As I said, no easy games in the Premier League. But it's another win for us. That's four wins for us in the Premier League. And we will take that every single day of the week. And a clean sheet as well to boot on to the second game against Chelsea. Oh man, it's so freaking hot. Right, so we're taking on Chelsea at home. Um, and hopefully build on the back of that impressive 1-0 win over Watford. But ever present Jonathan David up front. I think he's got nine goals this season. Here's Havertz. 15 minutes in, Havertz gets in behind, sharp tracking back and Havertz pulls his shot wide. Customary wide shot there from Havertz. We know his struggles in the Chelsea shirt. 25 minutes in, the ball played across the box. Miglidis missed it, Ibrahim Abar missed it, then gives it away to Tymon. And now the counter-attack is on for us. Diangana down the left, Webster tracking back, Diangana into Neil, Neil does really well here to hold off Delo. Neil and threads it through, it's Divisholu how it slides Mendy but Divisholu slams it in and he scores for the second game running keep your eye on this man great play that from Dan Neil just does enough to hold off Delo. and then when the defender comes out he slides in Divisholu Potter is not happy Chelsea are pushing for a European spot. And they are a goal down here. Seven goals in 14 matches for Divisholo since his move from Brentford. And that's only in the league as well. I'm pretty sure he scored in the cup. And then 33 minutes in, a low shot after Mikalidis originally won the ball. McCrory then wins the ball high up the field. Bellingham looking wide. Here is Tavernier, Tavernier down the right hand side taking on Dylan Williams, cuts inside, cuts back outside, cuts back inside, chips it in, down to Neil, great chance that extra touch that he takes, gives Mendy a chance to save it into the second half, great interception by Neil, Webster wins it back into Pulisic, into Webster, back to Pulisic, great chance, outside Leno, great save. And it's going to Benacer into bar. Low shot by Havertz and a good save. And then 52 minutes in. Miglidis is going to go back to Leno here. Leno takes his time with the goal kick. You can see Chelsea push right up to the halfway line. That's a great flick on for Divisholu. Bellingham picks out Tavernier. Chelsea acres of space behind them. And Mendy cruelly exposed. And Tavernier scores. That's something that Shola Shortire did not do enough of for us. And the advantage to having Tavernier on that right side to, to cut in on his left. That's a superb finish from the winger. Really nice finish. 60 minutes in. A bar holds off Mikalidis. A low shot from Jonathan David. Pushed away. Potter wants more pressure. Chelsea beginning to bombard our goal here. Leno with a great save. The German has been a revelation for us since we signed him from Fulham as a free agent. David into Havertz. Havertz with a flash shot just over the crossbar. Just put a little bit too much on it. Twenty minutes left. Bellingham and Tavernier is going to pick out Dean Gunner. Chance for his first of the season, and Mendy gets down and makes the save. Back come Chelsea again. Jonathan David, McCrory trying to cover. Back to Havertz. Back to David. Into Pulisic, and a great save. 
This is a shrewd bit of business from A.D. Booth right to bring Bert Leno in. And questionable as well, considering how good the goalkeepers were last year. Five minutes left to go. Ibrahim Abar into Havertz. Back to David. James into David. And a low shot towards the corner. Turned away. Bert Leno in superb form. We see no reason to replace the German. And he doesn't look like he's retiring either. 85 minutes. Ball just thrown into the box now. Ismail Benesser takes the ball down. Low shot. And this time he has to parry that away. It's another good save. Short corner. Comes back. Bar into Kai Havertz. And he tries to pick out the top corner into Pulisic. And he tries to pick out that top corner. You see Havertz into Pulisic. Drags it just wide of the top corner. Penny for your thoughts there, AD. I don't think you expected to win this one. And that is full time. He shakes hands with Graham Potter. It's two wins from two. And a perfect response to losing to Manchester United. On to the final game as we travel away to top face Tottenham. Hopefully we can continue this good form. Well, AD Boothroyd looking to make it three wins from three here in the Premier League. Successive wins over both Watford and Chelsea have been the perfect response. But now we face another difficult proposition in Tottenham Hotspur away. And here's Garen Kowal opening 10 minutes. Taking on the defenders, Pau Torres. Taking him on, taking him on. And then ends up shooting wide. A little bit greedy there. Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Didn't feel like the cross or pass was on. Ended up taking it too far. Maybe a missed opportunity there. 16 minutes in. Great tackle there by Ducore. Neil. Crossfield pass. Looking for Kowal. Intercepted. Back to Alvarez. Alvarez. Julian Alvarez. Waits for support. Into... Neto and Pedro Neto, out comes the goalkeeper to try and narrow the angle and Neto scores and wasn't sure exactly how he did this but on the replay you can see here he actually slips it through Leno's legs, it's a great finish. Under pressure as well from O'Shea and he finishes that with a plum. Pedro Neto with his ninth goal of the season for Spurs. Not the ideal start, but looking to get back into it. Three minutes in to conceding that goal. Ducouré into Dubisholu and Joshua Kimi. Warned by the referee here. This would be the second or third foul um, already after just half an hour for Kimi alone. I don't know how he didn't get into the referee's book. And then from a goal kick... They won, won the ball high up the field. Alvarez spins McCrory and gets his shot, but it's a good save by Lino. And then look at this from Decore. Great tackle on Calvin Phillips. And then he goes past the defender, Jimenez, who then takes him down. It really did feel like, for most of this first half, Spurs were allowed to run round and kick our players all over the field and the referee would not book them poor pass from Neil gives away Neto trying to find the top corner into the second half looking to still get back into this great spin here from Divisholu cuts back inside Pau Torres just didn't get enough on it to get it in the corner and Nunez makes the save 61 minutes now Ducouré Decore into Tavernier, back to Decore, into Neil, Neil takes it into the box, 62 minutes, Neil back to Tymon, crosses it in, and it's a great header from Decore, but a good save by Nunez, long ball, 75 minutes, Rashica into, intercepted by Torres, but given away, and, and then Ayanacho rides the challenge, looks for the top corner, doesn't quite get it on target there. But very positive, very strong there from Ayanacho.
been limited to substitute appearances. Mikalidis looking for his third of the season. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper, Nunez. And then the goal kick sends it forward 88 minutes. It's flicked through. And here is Dan Juma Grunewald taking on McCrory. He takes it wide. McCrory does well to see him out wide originally. They're going to pull it back. Udugi back into Grunewald. And then back into Calvin Phillips who takes a touch into the box. Plays it in. And Josh Tymon is playing Julian Alvarez onside. And that is 2-0. I thought this was offside at first, but on the replay, Timon's actually playing him onside. Not the result we were looking for today as we go down 2-0 against Spurs. And a good result for Antonio Conte's men as they now move to the top of the Premier League table. Let me know what you think in the comments. So I did promise we take a look at the league table before we go. And he's 15 games in. Spurs have the lead Hellas are slightly over Liverpool at the top of the Premier League. Manchester United third, Nottingham Forest holding their own in fourth. Manchester City first, Chelsea sixth, Wolves seventh, West Ham eighth. We are not in the top half uh, no more after that loss to Spurs. We drop down into somewhat mid-table but still five wins, seven draws, only three defeats. And only 15 goals conceded which is just one goal a game on average. Arsenal have sat kind of made up their poor start. They are now five five wins, five draws, five losses, sit in tenth. And then as we go further down the table you can see Fulham Aston Villa Brighton, Sheffield United, Watford, just outside the relegation zone with the bottom three, Crystal Palace, Brentford and Leeds United. And I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Um, I've certainly enjoyed it. It's been a little bit hot, as I said. I'm going to be back on Wednesday with Fulham, Leeds and Liverpool being the games. If you want to continue to support me, please do so by watching anything from the post available in this video. This has been Arlad for Set Play Gaming. I'll see you guys soon.